Okay, we're going to start building the new Caster Racing Fusion F8T Truggy. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is locate yourself bag A, bag B. Empty the contents out of those bags. And you're going to see you'll have the differential parts, gears, pins, bearings, uh, your main spur gear, your inner pinion, pinion gears, excuse me, uh, your bearings. Uh, the diff cases are actually in the pot being boiled right now, so as soon as they're done, those will be out here on the table. But we'll get start with this. Uh, we'll start with the center one actually, so we'll take one case. And we're going to take, we're going to need the spur gear. And we're going to need some of the inner gear parts here. So we're just going to take and cut these bags open. And we're just going to dump these out. We're going to be using these all in all of these differentials. Might as well get them out now. Just kind of make piles for everything here. Now this is one of the first production kits, so at this time I don't have a manual. Uh, if you are familiar with the Fusion buggy, it's real similar. I mean, basically you're building that, but in a little bit larger scale. Uh, so basically, if you do need a reference, you could look at your Fusion buggy shots okay from the manual for that and get the rest of these bags cut open here cross pins for the inner gears get the inner the front and rear pinions out of here shims. Kind of an assortment here of shims. We've got diff gaskets here. Lots of diff gaskets. <laughs> Looks like we got a ton of paper ones. Some thicker grade there. And then some really thick ones here. These are going to be your main three that you're going to want. Paper ones, I'm not even going to worry about that. They do make an upgrade gasket for the diffs also for if you have to change down the road. And we got our shims, 0.1 millimeter and 0.2 millimeter shims. Get those out of the bag here because we're going to need those for shimming everything up. That and leave them in the bag so we don't lose them. Okay, well, we can get this one open. And we'll cut o rings out of these. We're going to need those. I'm in kind of an awkward position here. I'm actually working with my video camera right in front of me. So I can keep everything centered. I thought about doing it off to the side, but then it basically makes the whole view cockeyed for the viewers. So we'll do this just like this. I also thought about doing it having the camera facing me, but I don't like being the center of attention. The car is the center of attention. So that's where I want everybody focused. I want them focused on the car, not me. He's out of here, come on. This video will be done in segments, each one approximately around 10 minutes long, and then broken up and labeled. So you can basically go to a 
a section and look up just a specific area of the you know of the build if you need to for reference. Uh, the one thing that I do like about the caster stuff is the bearings for the differential and the wheel hubs and stuff are all the same, so you can order the same bearings there. Makes for a real easy build. Uh, also makes for easy ordering if you need to replace bearings down the road. You're only dealing with one bearing side. So, well, I'm just going to pause this real quick and go check on the parts as, that are boiling in the kitchen. This should be just about done, and we'll get back to putting the center diff together. Stay tuned. Okay, you're going to notice when you open the bags up that you're going to have all your outputs from the diffs. You'll notice, I'm going to take two of these and show you the difference here. They're cut different, and you'll see that right away. The ones for the center diff are cut flat all the way from, from side to side here. The ones for the rear and front have a little notch right here. They're, they don't go cut all, they're not cut flat all the way to the end, you'll see that right there. So make sure you've got the right ones, put those aside. You need the two flat all the way, those are for the center diff. So you're going to want to take one of your O-rings, get that in there, take one of the shims, That's gonna go. Oops, I've got the wrong ones here. There's ones I want. Got the wrong ones out. Like I said, any of you that have had the uh, other diffs apart, you'll know these steps pretty simple. Put that shim on there. So you can slide that bad boy in there. Now what I should be doing, and I've got a bottle of it here. Oops. We're just going to take a bottle of oil here. I don't like putting rubber in, totally dry. So get that bugger wet with a little oil. You can actually just slip it right on the shaft like that. A little oil on it. That. Oh, we're doing this backwards here. This is how my day's been going. Gotta remember these things. Okay. We got two of those stuck together. Okay, O ring's gonna go inside the diff case get her in there. Come on. Doing this off camera because I'm jiggling this around looking like an idiot here. Okay. O-ring. Right inside there. Take the washer. Set that down over the O-ring. Take your output with the bearing. Snap that bugger on there, put your output through. Okay, I got her in there like that. You can see where the hole is. Next item is going to be the lock pin for that. These are kind of a treat. Uh, the easiest way to do this is to take a forcep, lock the pin in. Now you're going to want to line your hole up with one of the out farthest out notches in the case. It's the only place you'll be able to get the pin in. As you see I got my forceps set a little too close to the end. So we'll move that down. Go in at just a slight angle. Push that in. Try to get her centered. Okay, once you got that in there, you can take one of your beveled gears notched in the bottom. Take that bad boy dropper in there. Spin the output shaft around until she drops and seats fully 